The Portsmouth Naval Shipyard is the gold standard for maintaining attack submarines. It's been 10 years since the Secretary of the Navy has seen that firsthand. Friday, Richard Spencer took a tour. It's great to see what is being done because while our sailors and our Marines are the pointy end of the spear, a spear doesn't exist without a shaft. And this truly is the shaft because we're making repairs here and putting ships back out, boats back out to the sea that we need so desperately. Spencer and bipartisan delegations from New Hampshire and Maine also highlighting its $800 million impact on the economy and the skill of what its 8,000 workers do. Is that it's like replacing the engine of your car but having to work through the glove compartment. For months, concern has been that the president's emergency declaration to build a border wall could divert more than 200 million in funding for modernization projects here. What speaks volumes is the timing of this visit alongside recent assurances from the acting secretary of defense. The funding for these projects meets critical criteria to stay in place. Relief for now. Our workload right now is uh, pretty consistent for uh, the next five to ten years with what we're doing. We have hired uh, over 2,000 people the past couple years to prepare for that workload and get them trained to do that. Our New Hampshire delegation says they won't feel like we're totally in the clear until the end of the fiscal year, so they'll continue to monitor the situation closely. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.